Never say Jordan Peele can't at least come up with an interesting premise. Both Jordan and Keegan came out swinging for the fences with their knockoff of The Chappelle Show, but once they pursued their separate careers in Hollywood, both have floundered like an overdosed hooker. Keegan can't find a good gig to save his life, while Jordan at least aimed high with writing, directing, and producing various movies and shows over the recent years. None of them are good, but at least he tried. The only one worth note was Get Out, which wasn't saying much in a year saturated with other overrated crap like Coco, and both of which are only backed by the spineless bootlickers of Hollywood. And Jordan is once again back with a new subversion, a little film called Nope. We follow OJ and his sister M, who work for their father Otis as horse trainers in Hollywood. OJ has all the charisma and give no shits attitude of a drunk honey badger, while M can't slow down for five fucking seconds like a five year old drank Red Bull. One day on a calm afternoon, the electronics in the area stop working and objects start raining from the sky and litter the area, like an environmentalist march, because even aliens treat the earth like a trash bin. One of these objects takes out Otis, thus leaving the horse ranch, its animals, and the family business in the hands of OJ and M. Then one night while OJ is out looking for an escaped horse, OJ spots a UFO moving in the clouds with all the smoothness of a criminal. Now OJ and M become fascinated and determined to capture proof of the UFO and get their 50 15 minutes of fame. Now, if there is one thing to say about Nope, it is that it isn't woke, which in today's day and age is more common than mostly peaceful protests. At least, nothing that I could identify. The opening speech by M had me bracing for the incoming cringe as I rolled my eyes backwards like a shark about to deep throat an explosive scuba tank, but the cringe never came. And I appreciate that. Just like the scale, too, Jordan keeps the story at large relatively small in scope so that it doesn't get too out of hand, much like the Black Phone accomplished. However, unlike the Black Phone, Nope is bloated like Jerry Nadler's diaper. Nope is proportionately stuffed with as many characters as The Walking Dead, and they're all as fucking pointless as the Gordy's Home subplot. You could remove that entirely from the story and nothing would change. See, the Gordy's Home side plot is about a trained chimpanzee that snapped and attack the cast of the show. Now, many people have stated this goes nowhere, but not why. Well, ultimately, the entire side plot is meant to divulge that you cannot train a wild animal. Yeah, I know. See, even that doesn't make sense, because plenty of animals considered to be wild are trained to dance, use sign language, and file your taxes without eating their customers. Besides, it's a UFO. You have as much of a chance to train that as you do rehabilitating a pedophile or the people behind Reddit. Like, this is it? Th this is all Jordan has to offer? See, I'm not complaining about the simple story. That's welcome, of course. But we all know that Jordan rose to stardom because of the bootlickers in Hollywood carrying him around like he's the next Obama. His movies are at least an interesting premise, but they're always wrapped around racial politics and they're propped up by blind consumers. So once you remove the idiotic ideas from the movie, what you're left with is a new sleep medication that goes hand in hand with whole bottles of copium. Don't believe me? Look at all the desperate for attention companies saying that Nope's financial failure isn't actually a financial failure. If you've made less money than you spent on your project, it is a financial loss, you wilted spinach. Jordan is only prominent because of his politics, while the rest of the country won't buy your snake oil anymore. And if there were as many people as you think who agree that want to watch these kind of movies, then explain to me why they didn't, and thus the movie led to the financial failure that it is. I could have written this whole script as nothing but questions. I chose against it, because that wouldn't quite get to the core of the issue, which is an overrated director who received undeserved praise for movies that were nowhere near as good as people believe. All the cockthroats in the world could scream until they're as blue in the face as their hair, but it doesn't change the fact that Nope is another overrated snorefest that proves Jordan Peele's success is as artificial as the Matrix itself. Although, only Hollywood could continue to create such insipid movies like Thor Love and Thunder. And you can click this link above to hear my thoughts on that train wreck too. And please, subscribe to join my kingdom.